Imagine a country as a vast financial ecosystem, continuously engaged in a complex web of economic transactions with the rest of the world. Economists meticulously record these interactions in the Balance of Payments, BOP, a financial statement that narrates a nation's economic dealings with other countries. In essence, the BOP is a nation's financial pulse. The Two Main Accounts, A Tale of Two Ledgers The balance of payments is broadly categorized into two main accounts. Number one, current account, the cash flow monitor. Think of the current account as a bank statement for everyday transactions. It records the inflows and outflows of money from goods, services, income, and transfers. If a country exports more than it imports, it runs a current account surplus, which is a sign of economic strength. But if it imports more, it runs a deficit, meaning more money is flowing out than coming in. Trade in goods and services. The movement of tangible products and services between countries. Primary income, wages, dividends, and interest earned across borders. Secondary income, transfers like remittances, foreign aid, and pension payments. Two, capital and financial account, the investment tracker. While the current account focuses on trade, the capital and financial account monitors investments and asset transactions. This is where foreign direct investments, portfolio investments, and loans are recorded. It acts as a counterbalance to the current account, ensuring that every dollar leaving the economy has a reason. Foreign Direct Investment, FDI. When companies establish businesses or acquire assets abroad. Portfolio Investment, buying foreign stocks, bonds, or other financial assets. Official Reserves, central bank transactions involving foreign currencies and gold. Why does the balance of payments matter? A country's BOP is like a medical checkup for its economy. Continuous deficits might indicate reliance on foreign capital, leading to potential debt issues. Surpluses, on the other hand, may show a strong export economy but could also mean weak domestic demand. Governments and policymakers monitor the BOP to make informed decisions on trade policies, currency valuations, and economic strategies. If you find the video helpful, please like it, that will be helpful for my channel. Let's discuss surpluses versus deficits. A BOP surplus might sound great. It means a country earns more than it spends. However, excessive surpluses can lead to currency appreciation, making exports expensive and potentially harming trade relationships. Conversely, persistent deficits may force a country to borrow more, weakening its currency and leading to inflation concerns. The balance of payments is not a static ledger. It fluctuates with global trade, investment flows, and policy changes. Understanding its nuances helps economists, investors, and governments gauge a nation's financial health. So next time you hear about trade imbalances or currency fluctuations, remember that it's all part of the intricate financial rhythm that keeps the global economy in motion. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.